This is such a classy production, isn't it? It mm. really, really is. And it works so, so well. But you were saying that you're a little bit nervous about revisiting her in some ways. Why was that? Yeah, on the first day when we were shooting the director, we'd done about two scenes. And it, uh, it was a scene with Rosie, who plays an oncology uh, nurse. And the director looked over um, the camera and said, are you, are you OK? It's that, it's that nervousness when something has gone well. Of course. You come back and just think, Oh, you know the bar is here, yeah. and you you just want to you, you want to keep that up or, or, mm. or take everyone somewhere different. But it, it was okay after about two days. And when <laughs> Sanjeev fake. arrived, because he course. wasn't there filming for the first week, oh, okay. you know you're meant to we, mm. we're meant to get on. And I think exec exec producers must sit at the read through and think, oh, you know, I hope, I hope. <laughs> because it just it's some it's a chemical reaction between is. people, isn't it? Yeah. And we got on from the moment we sat down next to each other at the first read through. Sure. It's, and I, I do, I think he's fantastic. It's, and it's really he's, good to see him in that sort of role as well. Yeah, he is brilliant. You know, because we are obviously, we've seen him in comedies and all of that, but yeah. which I think is sometimes harder to do than much, <laughs> than drama. much. I think every straight actor, and I am a straight actor, <laughs> would put their hands up and say, you know, the, the, it's the, that area, the comedy actor yeah. that does, they can do both, they can do anything. Absolutely. What do you think is so special about this, though, that has really caught people's imagination? And it was so successful, because there's so many detective yeah. dramas out there. Yeah, I think that the writer Chris Lang has really <clears throat> he's carved out this really interesting little niche. Um, and mainly, I think that's because he writes all of them. Right. And we've got the same director who did all six last time, he's done all six again this time, and Chris has written them all again. I think it's because um, Chris is interested in picking at something. Mm. And... Um, and so you're you're going you you're following him through you're following Chris's journey through and this. it's a clear clear vision as well yeah. that's the thing it, so I always think that's great if somebody's in charge of the whole thing or, or or at least involved very heavily in the whole thing yeah he's totally in charge he writes every <laughs> single one um, and he knew it. when we finished last year he said if we're lucky enough to go again I've got this idea ah. and he gave us an outline wow. of the whole story. so even then you yeah. knew oh that's fantastic yeah. now look last year you were in Broadway I was. How exciting is that? And it not was. only that, two of my favourite men you were with, Russell Tovey and Mark Strong, two yeah. cracking actors. Was that really, I mean, that must have been a dream come true. Were you standing there looking at your name in lights in Broadway? Because that's like the dream. Yeah. I did it. I did all that. I stood outside the theatre, <laughs> took the pictures, sent them to, home to my family. It, it, it wasn't anything I ever thought I'd get to do. So wow. it was a pro proper, it wasn't a dream I'd had because I didn't even really dare to, sure. to, to think that that might happen. Mm. And, uh, and I absolutely loved it. And, the, and Mark and Russell, amazing cast. And me and Phoebe Fox, uh, we played mother and daughter. <clears throat> and we had a dressing room together. And when we arrived, we had two dressing rooms. Uh, but we turned one of the dressing rooms into a bar called the Fox and Walker. Excellent. And Excellent. we shared, shared our dressing room. I love that. I think that's, in fact, that's what has to happen. Yes. <laughs> that should be the law. Always, always have, have your own a bar. bar dressing room. Excellent. Excellent. That's really good. Love June Last Tango. Obviously, that was on at Christmas special. Yeah. Do you think that might come back? Because that's so good. Oh, I ha we it's are such all... a great series. Yeah, we're all fingers crossed. Mm. I, ho I hope so. Oh, it was cracking. And again, beautifully written. Yes. Beautifully written. Right. So you can do your job. Yeah, when, you know when you get that. Sort yeah, that's of a gift. Yeah, it's so just a gift of a part. Going back though, everybody will always remember you in Spooks. But what an incredible series to be associated yeah. with. Yeah. That again, that was very. Are you just really lucky, or do you just really I, good at picking I, jobs? I think I'm, I'm incredibly. <laughs> oh God, I'm so young. In the, you're flashing up pictures where I'm really young. Um, I'm really lucky. I'm, I'm it's really, really lucky. Isn't and it? I think what happened, Jane Featherstone, who, who and Kudos that created Spooks. I remember it, it felt like such a new idea. Yeah. I think what's shocking is how um, now those storylines are not as... Uh, I mean, they were accused of being far-fetched at mm. times. I remember and their reality? Yeah, we did one about a cyber attack. And we, I, I remember us all wandering around saying, oh, this, as if governments could be brought to a halt by hey. a cyber attack. And, and look... You know, and, and look what's happened. That's yeah. very true. It was four weddings. It was the big kind of breakout, wasn't it? You had a wee part in four weddings, okay. and I was around all these hugely famous people. Uh, and, I, and the director, Mike Newell, said to me, "We'll get you on set as much as possible to give mm -hmm. you an idea sure. of how film works." And um, everyone was so lovely to me. And then, of course. That finished, and I went into the real world of being an actor, which was a lot of unemployment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so exactly a lot of resting, a lot of resting. But it was Sue Perkins that kind of you, you and Sue are really good mates, aren't you? And she, yeah. she kind of not set you on the path, but I guess in some ways she did. We we met at um, university on my first day at uni. Sue was meant to be my college mother, uh, which means that she was meant to look after my moral well-being okay. and my my uh, general <laughs> not take you drinking or anything. <laughs> my general health and happiness, and. Um, 
Uh, and she certainly did that. <laughs> and she was she was also heavily involved in Footlights and of said, course, why yeah. don't you come to, they called them smokers, why don't you come to a smoker, which was people trying out material. Oh, right, OK. So it, it is very much down to Sue, really, oh, that I, I, got, I got, involved with, um, got involved with drama at uni. Um, yeah. And I was always too scared to get up and do any stand-up. Mm. So I think I, I, was given the, uh, I was given the role of falconer, which sounds impressive, but it translates as the person who cleans up after the smokers. I would clean up all the... Cans and oh, nice. Bags. Oh, isn't showbiz marvellous? Really glamorous. <laughs> A really good introduction to that. Yeah. Do you know what? It's so good to see you. And Unforgotten's on tonight, 9 o'clock, ITV. Yeah. It's a cracking, cracking scene. It is. It, it really is. is. And it's, it's proper. Yes, and you won't know where it's going. Ah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. All, all, all the speculation, everybody will be on Twitter saying, putting theories forward and all of that. That'll you won't great. guess. You oh, will not cool. guess. I didn't. I really didn't see any of it coming. Brilliant. It's a good ride. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. much great to see Thank you. you. Thank you. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.